you s there are a lot of patients who also have coccidiosis in their uh, intestinal gut. When you see there is a weakening of the immunity, coccidiosis is there. When I see it during the racing, racing season, um, for example, people come at the beginning of the season, there is a little bit coccidiosis, but there is always a certain immunity. But when the, the pigeons are uh, weakened, uh, have a weakened immunity, or they have another disease, then you see a massive infestation of coccidiosis. So we never, never forget to treat the coccidiosis. Yeah. Uh, the worms, you have the hair worms, you have the round worms. The hair worms are the, uh, the worms that are cause um, most, uh, most harmful. Uh, because they um, are taking the blood, you can uh, yeah. take in blood, so the, the bird will become anemic. Okay, we can do a testing of the droppings then. So, we do. We look for uh, coccidiosis and for roundworms. It's also important, now I, uh, I have to uh, do a checkup from uh, an individual pigeon, but it's important when you uh, do some droppings to let it check um, by the veterinarian, you take uh, morning droppings from uh, the morning and droppings from the evening. Because the roundworms and the coccidiosis are not always uh, they are not always in the droppings, so it could be that in the morning you have a lot of coccidiosis, but in the evening you don't have. So it's important you have to give to take morning droppings and evening droppings. And you take from uh, a lot of pigeons in the loft, and then you can do uh, a checkup from the pigeons from whole the loft. You always have to do a treatment for all the pigeons in the loft. So uh, now I do an individual checkup, but. Uh, for uh, pigeons, it's more more important to do um, a complete checkup of all the pigeons. So here you see an egg of a hair worm. It's like it's citron shaped, and uh, one. It you have two kind of worms. You have the the round worms, so as scaris, and you have the hair worms as capillaris. And uh, the hair worms are the the worms to take the the blood. So when you have a lot of herons, a bird can become anemic. This is an egg from a roundworm, Ascaris. So when we are going to do magnification, see, that's a, it has a different shape. This egg is, is bigger and is not citron uh, shaped. So that's, a, that's the, the egg of the, the roundworm, so the Ascaris. Um, roundworms uh, will, now when you have roundworms, the, the pigeon will become uh, skinny. Yeah. And uh, then uh, the coccidiosis. Uh, normally coccidiosis, you may have a massive infestation with coccidiosis, you won't see anything at the pigeon. Pigeon will be okay, but when they have to do uh, races it's especially for long distance yeah it's very harmful yeah so even though a pigeon may be carrying coccidiosis yes. and a big infestation of it he may look perfect yes he may look perfect and only he won't perform and he won't have that condition and that, the that is the difference between yeah. coccidiosis and in poultry for example yeah when you have coccidiosis in poultry pigeon uh, the the chickens will have uh, uh, blood in the droppings and they will they, they will die yeah coccidiosis no, in pigeons, no. So these are all eggs from Ochis from coccidiosis. See, when you, when you have three eggs in one screen, you speak of a, a light contamination. When you have more of three eggs, it's, it's uh, too much.